Meet Tikatu. Hello. He's a mischievous tree who <laughs> loves to talk, loves to learn, and loves to... Excuse me. Hello, Tikatu. Hello. What should we learn about today? Let's learn about cows and pigs and horses. You mean farm animals? Yeah, let's learn about farm animals. Okay, let's see what farm animals are on the wheel today. Yes! A horse, a rooster, a cow, a goat, a donkey, a pig, a duck, and a rabbit. Remember, kids, only five can play peekaboo. But which five will it be? Let's spin the wheel and find out. Spin the wheel round and round. Hear the sound as it slows right down. A horse! Did you know horses can sleep standing up? Here we go again. A rooster is a boy chicken. I wonder what's next. A cow! Did you know that there are one billion cows in the world? What do you think will be next? Goats. A baby goat is called a kid. Going around one last time, what will be number five? A donkey. That's my favorite. Donkeys have excellent memories. Time to hide. Okay, Tika 2, you know what to do. Tika 2, where are you? Come and find me. I wonder if he's hiding behind the goat. Should I take a little peek? Oh, Tika 2, where have you gone? Are you behind the animal whose kids are called kids? Hmm, no Tika 2 there. I wonder where he could be. Did you just hear something? It sounds like the rustling of a bush. <laughs> Whoa, did you just see something? Do you think Tika 2 is hiding behind that rooster? <laughs> Tika 2, peekaboo, how the tension has thickened. Tell me now, are you behind the boy chicken? Tika 2, we found you. <laughs> now I'm over here. It looks like our friend Tikatu has disappeared again. Hmm. We're down to three farm animals. Shall we take a look behind the cow? You're getting warmer. Drats! I was wrong again. Tikatu, where are you? <laughs> what was that? It sounded like a splat. Or maybe some thunder or the poot of a cat. This is so much fun. Hey kids, can you help me decide? Is he behind the donkey? <coughs> or is he behind the horse? <coughs> you and I have one last choice, of course. Is Tika 2 hiding behind the horse. Take it to! We found you! Did you have fun hiding with the farm animals? I sure did, because they're cute and cuddly and just a little bit stinky, just like my brother. Will you stick around and play again? There's lots more fun and wheels to spin. Let's play again! 
Elephants are mammals, just like people. But they're the largest mammals that live on land. Elephants live in groups called herds. And the leader of the herd is the oldest girl elephant. Elephants sure do love water. They love to swim and spray water with their trunks. And when they're thirsty, they use their trunk to spray water in their mouths. They can also use their trunks like a hand to pick up things and eat food. Elephants don't eat meat. They only eat grass, fruit, and plants. Some elephants have long, sharp teeth called tusks. An elephant can live up to 70 years. Whoa, that's a long time. Elephants are beautiful animals that have a lot of feelings. Sometimes they cry when they're sad, but they also laugh when they're happy. I love elephants. Hello, Tika2. Hello. I think it's time to play peekaboo. I was hoping you would say that. So what do you want to learn about today? I want to learn my ABCs. Do you mean the letters of the alphabet? Yeah, let's learn about the letters of the alphabet. Great idea. Let's see what letters we have on the wheel today. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Remember, kids, only five can play peekaboo. But which five will it be? Let's spin the wheel and find out. Spin the wheel round and round. Hear the sound as it slows right down. A! for ant. Here we go again. B! B is for bumblebee. I wonder what's next. do you think will be next? D! D is for dinosaur. Going around one last time, what will be number five? And E! That's my favorite! is for elephant. Time to hide. Okay, Tika2, you know what to do. Tika2, where are you? Come and find me. I wonder if he's hiding behind the letter D. Should we take a look? Oh, Tika2, Tika2, don't be sore. If we find you hiding behind the first letter in dinosaur, Hmm, <laughs> no Tika2 there. I wonder where he could be. Listen, that's the sound of a dancing tree. <laughs> Did you just see something? Do you think Tika2 is hiding behind the letter B? Tika2, Tika2, won't you listen to me? Please come out of your hiding behind the first letter in Bumblebee. Tika2, we found you. <laughs> now 
I'm over here. It looks like our friend Tikatu has disappeared again. Hmm. We're down to three choices. Should we peek behind the letter C? <laughs> oh, Tikatu, let me take one more stab. Tell me now, are you behind the first letter in crab? You're getting more. Drats! I was wrong again. Tikatu, where are you? I know that smell. It makes me cry. But at least it means Tikatu is somewhere nearby. This is so much fun. Kids, can you help me decide? Is he behind the letter E? <laughs> or is he behind the letter A? Tikatu, Tikatu, please hear my chant. I think you're tucked behind the first letter in ant. Tikatu! You found me! So what do you think of the alphabet so far? It's cool how you can use all these letters to make all these different words. And this is just the beginning. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. And then we better play again. It's super important because it's the first step to <gasps> spelling. Hey, Tikatu, what's up today? Birds are up. <laughs> Very funny, Tikatu. I was wondering, how many different kinds of birds are there? Well, scientists think there are 10,000 different kinds of birds. Whoa, that's a lot. It sure is. Shall we learn about some? Yay! A penguin. A toucan. A bald eagle. An emu. An ostrich. A cockatoo. A parrot. And a blue-footed booby. Remember, kids, only five can play peekaboo. But which five will it be? Let's spin the wheel and find out. Spin the wheel round and round. Hear the sound as it slows right down. Penguin! Penguins love on snow and ice. Here we go again. Toucan! Toucans eat fruit, insects, and lizards. I wonder what's next. Bald eagle! Bald eagles catch fish with their feet. What do you think will be next? Emu! The emu is the second tallest bird in the world. Going around one last time, what will be number five? And ostrich! That's my favorite! Ostrich is the only bird taller than the emu. Time to hide. Okay, Tikatu, you know what to do. Tikatu, where are you? Come and find me. I wonder if he's hiding behind the emu. Should we take a look? 
Tikatu Peekaboo, are your branches all curled? Somewhere behind the second tallest bird in the world? Hmm. <laughs> no Tikatu there. I wonder where he could be. <gasps> Listen, that's the sound of a rustling bush. <gasps> Look, a flash of leaves just went by. Do you think Tikatu is hiding behind that toucan? <coughs> Tikatu, Tikatu, what was your plan? Are you hiding behind that lovely toucan? Tikatu, <coughs> we found you. <laughs> now I'm over here. It looks like our friend Tikatu has disappeared again. Hmm. We're down to three choices. Should we take a look behind the bald eagle? Yeah! Tikatu, our game is nearly complete. Are you behind the bird who catches fish with its feet? You're getting warmer. Drats! I was wrong again. Tikatu, where are you? Yikes! <laughs> that was a stinky toot. Not very cute. This is so much fun. Hey kids, can you help me decide? Is he behind the ostrich? Or is he behind the penguin? Finding you now would sure be nice. So tell me, are you hiding with the bird who lives on ice? Tikatu! You found me! Tikatu, did you have fun with your feathered friends? I sure did. And what did you learn? They come in all different shapes and sizes and colors, but they're all beautiful. Well, there's a lot more where that came from. Shall we play another game? Let's play again! This story is about meeting new people and how you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Little Miss Muffin sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffin away. A lot of people are scared of spiders, but I think they're kind of cute. People should give them a chance. Hello, Tikatu. Hello. What time is it? Time. That's right, and today we're learning more letters from the alphabet. ABC was just the beginning. Let's see what letters we have on the wheel today. I J K L M N O and P Remember, kids, only five can play peekaboo. But which five will it be? Let's spin the wheel and find out. Spin the wheel round and round. Hear the sound as it slows right down. I. I is for insect. Here we go again. J! J is for jellyfish. I wonder what's next. K! K is for kitten. What do you think will be next? L is for lion. 
in. Going around one last time, what will be number five? And M. That's my favorite. Yay! M is for mummy. Time to hide. Okay, Tika 2, you know what to do. Tika 2, where are you? Come and find me. I wonder if he's hiding behind the letter L. Should we take a look? Oh, Tika 2, you know how hard I'm trying. Are you behind the first letter in lion? Hmm. <laughs> No Tika 2 there. I wonder where he could be. Listen, that's the sound of a dancing tree. <laughs> Did you just see something? Do you think Tika 2 is hiding behind the letter J? <laughs> Tika 2, Tika 2, I only have one wish. Please come out if you're behind the first letter in... Jellyfish? Tika 2! We found you! <laughs> now I'm over here! It looks like our friend Tika 2 has disappeared again. Hmm. We're down to three letters. Should we peek behind the K? Oh, Tika 2, I can't believe you're still hidden. Tell me now, are you behind the first letter in kitten? You're getting more. Drats! I was wrong again. Tika 2, where are you? <coughs> he did it again. He's got some sass. This little tree keeps passing gas. This is so much fun. Kids, can you help me decide? Is he behind the letter M? Or is he behind the letter I? Tika 2, Tika 2, here's what I suspect. I think you're tucked behind the first letter in insect. Tika 2! You found me! What's on your mind, Tika 2? I was just wondering, how many letters are there? The English alphabet has 26 letters. Wow, 26 letters? So we're just getting started. <laughs> That's right, Tika 2. Well then, we better play again. Why are fish so smart? Because they swim in schools. Come visit Tika 2 each week for new songs, stories, and games that teach us about the world. Mom and Dad, make sure to subscribe so new episodes are delivered right to you. Made with love in the Pacific Northwest. For every 100 subscribers, we'll plant a tree. That's our promise. <laughs>